Once upon a time, in a bygone era of enlightenment, there lived a wise and revered Zen master named Hiroshi. People from far and wide sought his guidance, as his teachings on the art of being present were renowned throughout the land. Hiroshi resided in a small temple nestled within a serene mountain valley. The temple's walls were adorned with ancient calligraphy, capturing the profound wisdom of the past. Within these sacred walls, Hiroshi welcomed seekers who were eager to learn the secret to a fulfilling life. One day, a young man named Takeshi arrived at the temple. Takeshi was burdened by worries about his future, always consumed by thoughts of what was to come. As he entered the temple, Takeshi was greeted by Hiroshi, whose serene presence immediately calmed his restless mind. Takeshi bowed respectfully and said, Master Hiroshi, I have traveled far seeking guidance. I am plagued by thoughts of the future, and I long to find peace in the present moment. Can you teach me the art of being present? Hiroshi smiled warmly and invited Takeshi to sit beside him. He poured a cup of fragrant tea and said, Young Takeshi, the art of being present lies not in escaping the mind, but in embracing it fully. Our minds are like unruly horses always racing ahead, but by gently taming our thoughts, we can discover the beauty of the present moment. Takeshi listened intently as Hiroshi continued, Imagine a vibrant cherry blossom tree in full bloom. Its beauty lies not in its future blossoms or in its past splendor, but in the delicate petals dancing in the breeze right now. Similarly, the true essence of life resides in the present, in this very moment. Takeshi pondered Hiroshi's words and felt a glimmer of understanding. He asked, Master, how can I tame my restless mind and embrace the present? Hiroshi smiled and replied, In your quest for presence, my dear Takeshi, Remember that the mind is a wanderer. It is the art of gently guiding it back to the present that holds the key. Begin by observing your breath. With each inhalation and exhalation, immerse yourself in the sensation of life unfolding within you. Takeshi followed Hiroshi's guidance diligently. Each day, he dedicated time to sitting quietly and focusing on his breath. At first, his mind wandered incessantly, but with time and practice, he learned to gently bring his attention back to the present. As Takeshi continued his practice, he noticed a subtle shift within himself. He became more attuned to the world around him. The rustling of leaves, the warmth of the sun, and the songs of birds. The worries about the future no longer consumed him. Instead, he found joy and gratitude in the simple moments that unfolded before him. Months turned into years and Takeshi became a dedicated student of the present, just like the cherry blossom tree that bloomed afresh each spring. Hiroshi watched with pride as Takeshi grew into a wise and compassionate individual, spreading the teachings of presence wherever he went. Takeshi, now a seasoned practitioner himself, eventually established his own temple in a distant village. He shared Hiroshi's teachings, empowering others to find solace in the present moment. The wisdom of Zen flourished in the hearts and minds of those touched by Takeshi's gentle guidance. And so, the art of being present, passed down through the ages, continued to transform lives, reminding people of the profound truth that true peace and contentment can only be found in the eternal now. The lesson of the story is that true peace and fulfillment can only be found by embracing the present moment. The art of being present, lies in gently guiding the restless mind back to the here and now, where the beauty of life unfolds. By practicing mindfulness and cultivating an appreciation for the present, one can transcend worries about the future and regrets of the past. Through this journey, individuals can discover a profound sense of joy, gratitude, and a deeper connection to the world around them. The story reminds us that the present moment is where true contentment resides. And by embodying this wisdom, we can transform our lives and inspire others to do the same.